remember I remember the night in Miami First time you put your arms around me I'm up reminiscing Thinking about you isn't helping Thinking about you doesn't tell me What could you would do If I decide to face the truth It could have been right but I was wrong I only think about you and Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Ankirika. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But let's just jump right into the video. I will be installing a perfect hairline unit in the style Geneva and in the color Hazelnut Honey. It is a 13 by 6. It had three combs, two on the side, one in the back, and an adjustable strap. And let me just tell you, it is very big hair friendly. I love a big hair friendly wig. As you saw in the previous clip, I had prepped my skin with alcohol. I also prepped my wig already. I had plucked it, added my lace tint to it, and I did my ball cap off camera. Here I'm just cutting the wig in three sections so I can just work on one section at a time. I'll be using the Ghost Bond Lace Glue, and I'm only going to use one layer. But let me just tell y'all. I had went out and this glue did not hold up. I know I sweat, but dang, it didn't even last a day. And my wig was slid back, lifted by the end of the night. It was, oh my gosh, and I love this install. Like, this was my favorite install, my favorite wig. Like, everything came out perfect just for me to go home with the slid back wig at the end of the day. So I am really on a hunt for a sweat proof lace glue because I want my installs to last longer than a day or two for real. I'm still playing, you know, with the glue, like testing it out. I'm going to try to do more layers and I'm going to try like not to install my wigs the same days I go out because I should probably wait like 24 hours before I do any activity that's going to have me sweating. So once the glue turns clear, I'm going to just lay my lace down and press it into the glue. And before I even lay my lace band down, I just knew this install was going to eat. I was just too geeked. But yeah, I'm going to lay my lace band down and then I'm going to go in with my Care Care wax stick and just hot comb the top. Here I'm just going to take off my lace band and I'm just going to brush um, out any hairs that might be in the way or stuck on my forehead before I cut the lace. Sorry I'm out of the view, but I just went in with my little uh, eyebrow scissors to cut off the lace. And to melt my lace down, I went in with the even black spray and some spritz. First, I went in with uh, the even black spray, sprayed it on my finger, tapped it in my lace, and then I'll go in with um, the spritz and tap it up in my lace as well.
And I didn't immediately go in with the lace band. Uh, I let it dry for like a few minutes and then went in with my lace band. And I left that on for about 10, 15 minutes. And when I took off that lace band, baby, they they ate this wig up. I, I love it. I loved it. But yeah, I'm just going to go back in with my edge brush and get any hairs that are stuck on my forehead or stuck together so it can look seamless. Then I'm just going to redefine my part. I'm ashamed to say how long it takes me to get my middle part straight. Like, I be wanting it crispy straight. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe Filter Foundation in the color 13 and just tap it into the lace. And to define my part, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I almost went in to add baby hairs, y'all. But then I was like, uh-uh, like, this eats. I cannot ruin this install with some baby hairs. It already looks good, so I just left it as is. And this is the final look, you guys. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I loved it. Everything about it, from the color to the fullness to the cut of the hair, the lace of the hair, how big hair friendly the wig is. Like literally this was one of my favorite installs. And I just want to take this time to also say we are almost at 500 subscribers, you guys. Like what? I can't even believe like almost 500 people watch me and support me and liked my videos. Like, I really love y'all. So I just really wanna show my appreciation and thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.